This long red is on. It's such a difficult pot. Could easily leave the red on if he misses it. And he's missed it. Now, how's your luck? He's left a couple of reds, but neither of them you call gimmies. This red to the right corner here. Get yes, it's in. One. And what a great chance. The red's nicely split. He could play into the reds, that's where he's just looked at there, but there's also that red just above the, bl the black. Sullivan normally his positional play is so good that they all become easy shots that he's playing. Ten. But has the ability to pull a difficult one out of the bag when he needs it. A little switch to left handed. Eleven. That's now freed the black to both 19. pockets. Literally hear a pin drop. Yes, it's amazing how little 32. noise so many people can make. If that makes any sense. O'Sullivan, 19 seconds a shot. But uh, he has been taken care, he has to, he knows that. Well, again, he's timing the ball so well again now. This was a chance he was looking for, and he goes back to his seat because he knows that Olivier Martil is going to take his time spotting his pink. There's uh, a good shot of the centre of the spots where that pink has to be. Thank you. It's not a bad idea to go and sit down, I don't think, rather than standing at the table feeling impatient. Just just wait for the referee. Yeah, I think so. Still got a couple of reds. 40. And that little bit of left hand side on the cue ball. 47. Which took it closer to the red. 48. 
Now, is there anything there? He hasn't got the ideal angle on the blue to go into them. He can get there, but he didn't have the ideal angle. He needs to slow down. Well, he would have liked to have been the other side of the red. May have to play up for the blue now. Now he could get to the black. He hasn't hit it hard enough. This is missable. Yep, the red will pass the blue. 61. Well, he's just throwing everything at this final, isn't he? And he's closing in on the frame. Sixty-two. He needs the blue to lead by 67 with 67 on, so one more red as well. Well, that was a delightful cannon he played on the blue there. He was going to screw past it originally, but decided 67. to play the cannon, and he finished the right side. Well, he's trying to get the referee to hurry up. He wants to pop frame ball, and he has done, yeah. and it's going to be 8-6. As I say, he's going for it. Problem is, Selby's playing great as well. Selby's just had a 1-3-7. So this is now where we are in this final. It's basically one chance. Kill it off if you can. 74. 75. What wonderful snooker from both players. Well, the 12th frame, O'Sullivan had a 1-3-4. 13th frame, 81. Selby a 1-3-7. If O'Sullivan makes a century here, it will be his 100th 82. in the UK Championship in all the years... He's played in the tournament. Stephen Hendry with the record at 105, but it would be a milestone. 88. 89. There's some stuff being played now in this Barbican Centre. 96. 97. I think he needs to keep his same rhythm. Doesn't want to speed up and make mistakes. <laughs> Terrific stuff. Well, that's the third century in as many frames. It's the 100th century Ronnie O'Sullivan has made in the UK Championship. If this goes to nine all, then they're going to need the year before next year's tournament to put the roof back on the Barbican, because it's going to come off. 108. This is snooker of the very highest quality. 100. Thing is, though, Sullivan, 100. he's had three centuries today. He's still in trouble. This man is still in front. 117. Well, this final is getting better and better. Yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan's turn to respond with a break of 130. So Mark Selby's lead is trimmed again. He's still two away from victory. It's 8-6. It is a terrific match.